Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the One Dumb Dude Podcast. This is episode four. We are here with Brian Rodriguez. You all know him. We also got a new guy, uh, Mr. Jose Carrillo, um, okay. or you can just call him Joe. Yeah. yeah I, I you go. You, you like Carrillo or uh, Carrillo? Well, it would be Carrillo because it's. So I said it properly. Yeah. Carrillo. Carrillo. You gotta roll your R's. Cigarillo. Yeah. No. Oh. Cigarillo. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's up, Joe? Not much, man. What's up? You wanted to be on a podcast. I wanted Here to you are. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I wasn't expecting it was going to be today. Well, you asked. Yeah, you had a fucking here. week notice, I think. I No, I didn't. No? If, if that was the case, then you need to get on to him. When did I show you about it? Oh, I, I did. I told you the other day. Yeah. The other like, day, like, as in like, what, yesterday? yesterday. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. I just so, but you just told me the other day as well, the tone, so. Damn. We didn't, no. we didn't really. I hope that that phone gets all this audio because we didn't stick the microphone into it. If Everyone here, Johnny, open up a soda? Yeah, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny's behind the scenes. Young Uncle Johnny. <laughs> so what do you think about this storm? Did you, did you click it? I don't know. It was it fucking me. sucked, dude. Kinda I got caught in it. Dude, that storm lasted like less less time than I have sex. Mm-hmm. Hey, but it fucked everything up. Damn, that's pretty bad. It was about five minutes. I'm it done in about three. Minutes. I think I made two kids in six. Damn, it was more than five yeah. minutes. I don't know, man. It was bad, though. We looked out the window, and I was like, hey, telling my girlfriend, hey, babe, look over there. It's all dark and shit. She was like, yeah, it's going to rain. And then next thing you know, the wind starts blowing, and the fucking trees start moving, and then all fucking hell broke loose. He said, the storm, which is the storm's coming from the south, south, southwest? <laughs> like, it's south, by southwest. <laughs> you see that cranium fell down? Dude, those apartments? did somebody die or not? I saw that one person died, and it was like six injured. And I, was about an hour ago. I read that they just finished those apartments. It happened here? Yeah, they were brand new. Yeah, they're in downtown. Oh, like, the crane just got blown over onto it. But see, what I've been told, because, you know, when I was working in downtown, there was always cranes because there was always fucking destruction. Destruction. Construction. So when you look at those cranes in, during the wind or the rain or whatever, they're fucking moving. Mm-hmm. I guess if you lock them up, then the wind will blow them over. But they keep them loose, so they'll literally just spin around in fucking circles instead of falling over. I'm not sure if that's correct, but that's what I was told. I don't think either of those ways sounds very safe. And they don't lock them up. What do you mean by lock up? Like so they, don't, they lock like, them so they're not allowed to. So they don't. They yeah, don't have the. Like they won't turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I think they let them go free for reasons like this, so they don't fall over. Well, so usually when they have cranes, they have they can't see that that it, that can't be possible because well, because I work kind of construction, you know. So every time they leave a crane, they have these wires hanging. They pick up like all the wires they use to move like the metal and stuff like that. Right. So if they leave it unlocked and it turns, that wire is going to be spinning and if it catches onto something, because sometimes they leave it you know, next to the building, up. it's going to catch the building and fuck it up. You know what I used to, I used to see when they were doing that big um, 30 and Sylvan and making all those new highways oh, and stuff? They used to lift all the shit. They used to fucking put all their yeah. tools on the crane and lift the yeah. crane all the way up so the fucking yeah. cluckers yeah. wouldn't steal them. Well, steal them dude. Yeah, bro. But I mean, that's, that's what I was told. A cop told me that shit when he was working downtown the Gators. And I was like, man, that crane is up there moving. It was like a bad weather. He was like, they purposely do that. So it doesn't get pushed over. A cop told you? A cop, well, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much be self-explanatory. Oh, he doesn't yeah. make the fuck. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> what did they do to you? Nothing. I'm just... Tell, they, tell, tell us what your issue with cops. Tell us. Nah, it's just... You take a baton off the butt? It, no, it's just... They, ju- they judge a lot. You know how many times I've been judged because of my fucking tattoos? Like, I, we were at a lake. I don't, I don't know what lake it was, but... I've <clears> never <throat> been judged by the police. Uh, well, right... No, I can't say the police. That's not in general. I kind of have been, but, like, nothing bad. Like, a cop ain't never cussed me out or fucking yeah. yelled at was me. Was a or, cop white? I mean, I've, had, I've dealt with all of them. Mm. One time, they pulled me over in West Dallas because I didn't have an inspection or something. They pulled me over, took me out the car. They're like, hey, we're going to take your car because you don't have insurance either. I'm like, all right, cool. And they were like, you want to you wanna, uh, you drive you back to where you came from? Because I literally just got down the street. But, I mean, white dude in West Dallas getting dropped off in the project by the cops. No, I was like, nah, bro, I walked. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather fucking walk and show up with you guys. Well, you smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, then another time with my baby mama, they pulled us over and my beard was all crazy and my hair was crazy and she was all dressed up. It's my birthday. And they pulled her out of the car and they were like, why are you with him? Who is he to you? Are you offering him services? So I guess oh, I got fuck. profiled like as a dude who would it was buy eyes. hookers. It was your eyes. But yeah, I mean, I've never really had a bad situation with him. I've had both. Both bad and good. I've had really good... Situation we got pulled over last year or whatever by the cops. And me, you had, me and you, we were, you were going to buy that car out there in uh, the Casalinda area, like the, uh, 
You're gonna buy a car from that dude. Remember the guy? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The that red um, fuck, what kind of car was that? I don't know, but that dude was packing. We were slacking. Me and Brian were slacking because the whole time he was carrying, we never noticed until like we'd already been dealing with him for like thirty minutes. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. You know, he asked us for needles. Oh, yeah. And I was like, my dumb ass, I thought he was, I was like, just go to the store and buy some needles if you, you know, for insulin or whatever. And he was like, no, nah, I'm looking for the big gauge needles. Because he was like into fitness. He was pumping fucking oh, blood, steroids. steroids and shit. Testosterone oh, and shit. Because he was trying to be like a fitness uh, he was like a physique guy. Yeah, him. He was a real nice dude. Yeah, it was cool as fuck. But that kind of took the whole situation left. Like, that dude was <laughs> fucking injecting shit into you. But yeah. that, I remember that cop being a dick. No, he was cool. Yeah, he was cool. He, he right? was cool. He lit us up and uh, I remember we had a conversation about something. I don't remember exactly what it was. It might have been the car that we were. Yeah, because he asked me where about, are you going. Yeah, going, he said where I came from, what we were doing. You know, I told him I was trying to buy a car. Yeah, that car was pretty cool. I then got you put tags out. Yeah. And he saw it in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's <laughs> tags are always out. Yeah, my tags are Look always at his out. bike. Yeah. <laughs> I got the fucking tags. <laughs> They're good now. They were in the mail the whole time, bro. But like, how, long, how long did you have that Honda? Which Honda? The first Honda you got, the Shadow. The oh. American, the all American type of Honda. How long did you get that? How long did you have that? I had it for like, what, two years? And you never got new tags. Yeah. There were 2015 tags on this on Yep. Yeah. They were out when I bought it, actually. Yeah. And I rode it like that for another two minutes. But now you got a new bike. Yeah. But I it doesn't really ride. It doesn't really ride. <laughs> no. oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't ride in storms. Oh, it's not silly it's me. It's not that, bro. Well, Jesus. speaking of riding, Jesus. let's talk about Joe. Uh, I don't, know about, I don't know who wants to talk about that. We're talking about a brand new bike. How long did you have that bike before you threw it all over the ground? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, maybe... maybe when did you get it? I got it last year. What around month? November, maybe? Was it November? Yeah, dude. It's like towards the end. That's one of the reasons why I was able to get it, because, like, you know... So you had for like seven months. Six yeah, or seven so months. Yeah, six, seven months. And before you wrecked it. Tried to take a curve doing 60, 70. And, yeah, I hydroplaned. And then my bike went straight, didn't turn with me, and then I hit like the median. And then I, I heard you like, yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this motherfucker hit the ground at 60 miles an hour, and he's still holding on to the fucking dude. He's like, you're not getting away from me. I was like, let go of the bike. The, the funny part is that literally, like, a minute after I fell, cars started coming. I went to yeah. like the opposite. He went, yeah, he went to the oncoming traffic. Yeah. Like, he flew into the oncoming traffic. But those cars coming right there, he would have been done something. First thing he said to you, Brian. Help me get my bike back. <laughs> Not, bike am I okay? Man. Am I alive? Nah. Jumped up and Pick up my bike. Said, Help me get my bike. Pick up my bike. I, yeah. I mean, I didn't see it, but I wish someone recorded it because Ryan said that like I fell on my back like this, slid, and I did this. He like popped up, bro. Yeah, dude. Look <laughs> he, was, he hit the ground, and I guess he like I guess it, the, him and the bike were spinning like this, and then he like at the very he let go, and he like rolled a couple times, and he like popped up like yeah, out of nowhere. Just, this adrenaline was running, you know? This but I kind of, I, I mean, I kind of knew that the bike was going to be okay. I mean, that's why I paid fucking insurance for it, you know what I mean? Do you consider a motorcycle hobby? Or a motorcycle riding a hobby? No, it's a lifestyle. Because, I mean, dude, that's an expensive fucking hobby. Yeah? I mean, I how mean, much is your bike? 22000 or something like that? Total is going to be, it's going to be like 22000 And yours? Like More than that, right? Thirty yeah. grand. That's a fucking well, it's car. A big that's, a, like, that's a real car, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's a difference between bike to bike, like, because I have a breakout, mm -hmm. you know? And they're, like, basically, like, drag bikes. So, they're expensive. Mm -hmm. Every bike's different. I mean, you can buy a cheap bike. But you can't, I mean, like, most people don't go out there and a just buy, buy a bike. You know, you go out there, you buy a helmet, buy a fucking cut, you buy, you know, boots. Yeah. And you got to keep up with all this shit. I mean, I, I mean I'm assuming the maintenance is normal. Can you go to like any oil shop and get an oil change or you have to do it yourself or what's the issue? I mean, you can do it yourself, but... Or you it's can like take different oils you got to change though. Yeah, you can... You want to pro like a Harley, you probably want to take it to a dealership or someone... Who's I think it'd be best. I mean, it's good to, to know your bike it's, and do it yourself. Yeah, it's expensive as fuck to take it to a dealership, but... I think it's worth it. Are there any bike shops? It. There's no bike shops in no Cliff, right? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Dun, 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 dun. Stay <laughs> tuned, guys. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be definitely cool. You don't know anybody who's like an actual bike mechanic? I know a couple guys. We met some guys, you know, while we started riding. Well, Andrew, mm -hmm. Andrew he first thought I was yeah, a bike. Andrew's pretty good. But, um, like, uh, like, I'm pretty sure you have to be, like, certified for, like, to work on Harleys. I know people. Um, well, I have people, that know people with brothers that actually are Harley certified and can fix your bike and shit like that. So, like, if, I guess I could say if my bike, something were to happen to my bike, then I know I can have a brother help me out. 
right. to you know take care of it or whatever. Versus paying Versus, already, yeah, mm-hmm. fucking a thousand dollars to change your oil. You know, it's was, it was crazy to me that like Christian crashed his bike, mm-hmm. and then like a week later or two weeks later, two weeks it was later, it was me. It was, but it, I mean, it was a domino effect because almost everybody that we ride with fucking crashed within the past what two or three months. <clears throat> it, it all happened within first a month. First it was, no, because it I mean, happened within a month. Not not just the club, but I mean everyone In else. General. Yeah, first Daniel went down, and oh, then Josh. Yeah, no, yeah, first yeah. it was, um, first it was Jose, then it was Daniel, then Josh, mm-hmm. and then, then Chris. Chris, and then you, and, and, then, and then Chief. Well, when did you go down, buddy? Like, so we're not talking about you. Last year, though. I went down last year. Though. So you should last have said your name April. first. <laughs> no, but I'm talking about within this <laughs> but two or three months. Like, long, yeah, yeah. Months, two or three months time. That but your, your road rash was a lot worse than his, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, it's already healed up, but... It was like, it was bigger than this, and then I got it on my shoulder. Yeah, he had it on his shoulder and shit, so when he was back, I only had it on my shoulder. I was surprised to hear that, that you wrecked your bike going 60 or 70 miles an hour, considering your path to riding was a lot. I, I, I would say that you took your time. No, I didn't. I mean, dude, you wouldn't even ride on the highway with them in the beginning. I, I know, I know. But, but I, mean, okay, I know so, you were riding around here, so but start, you, you were taking it very, very well, smooth. Yeah, at first you were taking it smooth, but once you... Once you got like the gist of like, yeah. how to ride, then it was that was it. Once you yeah. get it, once it clicks, that's it. You you're not you're not afraid of it. I bought a seven fifty. It was a Honda seven fifty, mm-hmm. right? It was a shadow. And then I would say three weeks into it, after him and Chris had you know were kind of telling me how to ride and stuff like that. Literally after three fucking weeks, I was like, I want a bigger bike. So I went from like a seven fifty, and then within a month, I ended up with a fucking seventeen hundred cc bike. Yeah. Which is like a huge fucking step, you know. But even when you bought this bike, you weren't riding on the highway right away, right? Yeah, yeah. You were. Yeah, oh, I was the brake. By the time you got the brake, he was already on the highway. He was already up and down the freeway. Like, you know? yeah. It was um, it was. What was it? Did you get the, the first time I got on the highway? It was no, well, no, the 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 shadow. When did you get the shadow? Uh, Last summer. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, that yeah, was funny because the conversation came up and Brian was always fucking bugging me to get a bike. Yeah. And I was like, bro, like, stop. And then one day I was like, fine, okay, I'll get a bike. And, like, literally went and put well, out. Next week. Like, we two grand, bike. bro. And I was like, boom, I went to go buy cash. That dude we bought from was pretty cool. Yeah, he, 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 was he was, like, like from Cuba or some shit, right? Nah, he was from, um, he talked about weird. He was, like, like, he was from Peru or some shit. He had a weird, like, Hispanic accent, but yeah. it was, you can tell different, you know. Mm. In the, in the, and he had one, two, three, four, five bikes? Four yeah. Bikes? Four. Yeah, four it was bikes. Two sports, right? Yeah, two sports. Two bikes. sports and, and, the, and the two shadows. Yeah, and he was like customized. And one of them was bottled out. It looked yeah, that other shadow was fucking bottled out, but it was yeah. badass. And then he had the new summer so it was four mm-hmm. What What is Eno drive? I know it's a Harley, but he has Road a King. Road King. I don't know what year he has Road King. I think it's an 05, He said 05 or '08 or something like that. <clears throat> um, it's a nice Road King too. Yeah, Michael was down there fishing with him. Yeah, oh, I've seen that. You, you seen see, the video they posted? You see Eloy's shirt? I love that shirt. Dude. The masturbator shirt? That was a badass shirt. When I saw that, I literally laughed out loud. There used to be a guy, uh, was, I remember when we were in middle school, yeah, we went to go play ball, and a guy named Tim introduced himself to my brother as Master Debater. <laughs> you remember that? No. When we were at the Kimtonia Courts? No, I don't remember that. Dude, behind, so, you know on Hampton, there's that pink church by my mom's house at Jack in the Box, then there's oh, a pink yeah, yeah. church. It's not and, pink anymore. It's not pink anymore? Okay, well, it used to be a pink church for a long time. And then there's that back street that's called, like, Remond or something like that. And it's, like, the back. Uh, it'll take you all the way down uh, to Kendania. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, with the, with the yeah. road homes. With the road homes, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, like, 50 fucking uh, light poles back there. Mm-hmm. And there's a cop blocking it right now. That's why everything is out, because literally 10 or 12 of those are laying on the ground. Oh, like, really? all the way fucking down. Yeah. It's fucking bad. My mom is out. They're down. I mean, Chase. Like all those, days, all those banks, Walgreens, a bunch of lights um, around. All that shit is up. And it's it's even there's lights that are out even down here by Beckley by me. Well, my cousin Ruby called and said he, that his power is out and he lives off of Davis, uh, by Davis and Hampton. <clears throat> so that whole area is probably out too. Yeah. Which is just a little south of New Orleans. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. That shit started going crazy. Anyway, so when are you going to get back into YouTube? For anybody that doesn't know, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> let's talk about this. Joe 
a few years ago started a YouTube channel. The same thing all the time. Started the what? Well, His sister does the thing. The same thing. He like she always does that. She was fucking with him. I mean, you should you should appreciate this no, because I, you you're not I, pushing yourself, but other people saw something in you that was dope, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're pushing you to do it. Anyway, we we'll get back to it. So <laughs> Joe started a YouTube channel. Because believe it or not, you see the tattoos on his hands and his fucking gauges. You look at him, you're know, like, oh, this big tough guy rides him a Harley and shit. He's like the biggest Pokemon lover in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dweeb. And, dweeb. <laughs> I, mean, I like Pokemon too, but I mean, this dude knows a lot about that he shit. So, so he started a Pokemon channel where, I mean, I, I, don't, I wouldn't know how to, to describe it, but I mean, in like two months, you had over a thousand, bro, a thousand I'm not, subscribers. I'm not gonna lie, bro. He blew up. Quick, I was surprised. And, those, and the videos were damn good for yeah, just being on the phone. Dude, I was surprised. How would you hold the, how would you, what were yeah. you holding the phone up with? It was a, uh, what do you call those, selfie sticks? Mm -hmm. So like, the way, like my desk was like kind of like right here, right? And the selfie stick would be behind it, coming up, and i just turn it down, and then just... Because like, yeah, yeah. you see his hands, and he's yeah, doing you know, all this with his hands. You never shook your face or anything, did you? No. no, no. And it was just you opening up the packages and talking no. about... But, but see, that was the plan. My plan was like... Unless some people actually like follow me, like, cause I have, I got an Instagram page as well, mm -hmm. and it kind of was doing good too until they fucking died. But I, what I was gonna it didn't do, didn't die. No, it didn't. You die. suffocated it. But, suffocated. It. <laughs> so, what I was gonna do is I was gonna go so long without showing my face to certain like subscribers, and then I was gonna do a video where I actually like do the whole face reveal. Because a lot of people, a lot of people do that. That's and a good it, idea. And it, it, it works, dude. Like, Fuck, I'm gonna change my whole shit. I'm, we're done, I'm gonna start wearing a mask. Like, check this out, bro. Like, so there's this guy, there's this guy named uh, Leon Hart, and he has a YouTube channel too. And he started like before I tried to do my thing, and he blew up quick, you know, and he kind of did this whole same thing where he was like, you know, start off slow, and then all of a sudden he blows up, and the whole, you know, you finally get to see the person who it, like, who it actually is, and it's just like, oh shit, like, I didn't expect for him to look like that. This is stuff that gets people, mm -hmm. people coming back. Yeah. And that dude, that dude now has like, I would say, I haven't looked at his channel, but I want to say maybe more than a hundred thousand. And I got to meet him when he only had like thirty thousand. Like I got the, it was badass. Is he from here? Yeah, he's from here, dude. That's, that's from Dallas. Dallas. That's fucking, yeah. And I, I took a picture with him. I think it's still on my Instagram. I took a picture. Is that the guy you traded the, or you you gave the deal to? Yeah, like you I had was, some special deal coming. <clears throat> well, yeah, cause like so. Pokemon always like rolls out with these new products and stuff like that and they all have like release dates just like anything else. And I was at Walmart and there was this <laughs> there's this I feel weird talking about stuff like this, I don't know why. So there's this Did box. You it was, I know, Pokemon I know. Master? Okay, so it was Pokemon it was, Trainer it was, Joe. It was, it was a Snorlax GX box, right? And there's this new cars that recently started coming out. The Snorlax that had like a GX, no it's not. Charizard's your no. favorite. Yeah. So wait, dude, you're gonna make me lose focus, man. I'm gonna keep it around. No no, this is what yeah, I do. so so the Walmart had the the boxes like before they even came out so I, I noticed and i was like you know what i'm gonna buy one for myself and then buy one for him and then tell me you know tell him hey i got this you know earlier than usual and all i asked for was like a shout out and that's kind of what also helped me out too but it's like so you got something that hadn't come out yet and gave it to him and he gave me i gave him that and i bought him like some pikachu plushie because everybody collects stuff like that you know so he was like oh you know i appreciate it, whatever and that know. shout out how did you see it like a, a, a big difference in your it was, yeah, Surprising I mean, afterwards. in a sense, yeah, like, there was people, like, some people were starting visiting my page more. But you're doing videos, like, every week, right? Or a couple times a week? I think it was a couple times a week. No, no. I was like... Dude, dude, dude you, before we start talking about this, you gotta do your intro. Man, that no. shit was dope. Dude, that I love that dope. shit, dude. Bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, when I, when I uh, put it on YouTube, I'm gonna put, you know, One Dumb Dude, Episode 4, Brian Ruiz, it was like, and Inside XP. <laughs> yeah, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was like, uh, I don't know if I can do it. Uh, yeah, you can do it. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, well, what, what's up, guys? I remember that shit. What's up, guys? Uh, what's, that? what's going on, guys? Inside XP here, coming at you with another video. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's just dope, yeah, man. Dude. But he was, he was like, and his stuff, his stuff, his, the, like I said, the video quality was dope for what he was doing. I mean, he right. just, it was just looking down at the table, opening up cards. He never stopped talking, you know what I mean? He never, he, was, he never really did the, like, um, uh. I did, actually. It, really? Yes, I did. I mean, but, but you don't notice it because... Like being consistent on talking kind of like negates that. So I can kind of be like, um, yeah, and um, you know, but just the fact that you have all the background noise, like rapper and. And you had and music in the background too, like yeah, Pokemon music. Yeah. And that shit was dope. And he had like a Pokemon mat, and he would yeah. just open them up and he'd, he'd, he'd open everything up on the mat. And he would give him the, the code. Mat. You would give him the code. So, like, hey, you know, whoever gets the code first or whatever, right? Sometimes I would give the code, or if not, something that helped out a lot. See, this because the thing with that is that you have to, you have to, you have to sell yourself. Right? Definitely, definitely. So one of the things that sell I, your soul to YouTube. No, yeah, well, it's something like that, or you can do the devil. But anyways, <laughs> um, um, 
just like, oh my god. Uh, I do it too. So I would take the codes and I'd save them. And I actually used to have a bunch of them. I'd save them and then I'd post them like on, I think almost it was maybe Facebook. And I would say stuff like, you know, oh, you know, follow me, like, and share, and you get a code or two. And that's how like I got some of my subscribers, you know, because I was getting out free codes. And like to those who pay the, the game online, like they're like fucking gold, dude. It's like buying a pack, you know, so. And you, you were doing it, I want to say you got 1,200, you 1,200 subscribers. I mean, that's what you have now. But I mean, I know you hit 1,000 no, relatively I hit, fast. I hit 2,000. So you lost 800? I, I lost it, yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah, I stopped, like, doing it, you know what I mean? But I mean, the last time I looked, which wasn't too long ago, you had, like, 1,200. I can actually see And I was like, man, this dude's still, like, getting the views. Yeah. Imagine if you started doing it again. Imagine if it kept going. Right. You have a yeah. lot of people. I mean, he's already, he's already at, at one of the requirements for monetization. You know what I mean? Like, it's not all about the money, right, right, but I mean, that would, that would push a lot of people. Like you said, money is an issue because buying all those packs, you know, three or four days a week, I'm sure it could rack up to, you know, hundreds of dollars. I have 1,900 subscribers. 1,900 fucking subscribers just they're, sitting there, they're bro. Probably like, Go check your fucking watch time. No, because it's probably down. I don't know. I'm going to check that too. I mean, but see, what, the, what that is, you have to have that watch time within that year to be monetized. Mm -hmm. I think they can take it away from you too. Like, yeah, if, you, 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 if you stop, like, meeting the criteria. But I mean, he got 1,900 subscribers. I should just buy his fucking channel and just change it into the fucking yeah, one no, see, it's, it's like completely dead. Huh? Well, this is your watch time. You would have to go to the analytics. That's just your watch time, like what you're watching. I guess you're not watching very much YouTube anymore. You would have well, to go to YouTube studio and log in and uh, pull up like your, your total watch time. Yeah, I would have to do Or if you know what, go to your, put, go to my channel right here, yeah. Hey, Johnny, what's up? Hi there. You got 19,000 views. Hmm? Almost 20,000 views. But the minutes is what matters. But, like, I mean, some people I'm sure are still watching it because they're into the Pokemon stuff. Yeah. This shit goes on forever, man. It's crazy what you can see at some of these fucking Pokemon conventions. Yeah. You ever been one of those cards? cards? I have not, but I need to. I want so to. So, what do we got to do to get you back into it? It's just time. I'm, doing, I'm just doing a lot of. I mean, my job takes most of my time, and then. You know, I'm in, I'm in a club, so I mean, that takes most of my time, too, you know. Five more time. Why are you on stupid-ass podcasts like this one <laughs> when you could be at home making Pokemon videos? It's not, it really does sound funny because, when you say it out loud, well, but that's, his videos are fucking dope, They man. were, bro. Well, I mean, I remember I, the first time I saw it, I was like, I honestly didn't believe it. I was like, is this really fucking Joe? <laughs> I was like, that shit though, was like legit, bro. It was yeah, like, yeah. really good. The and quality of it. It was like he had been doing it forever. Like that's how it came across. One like, of the one of the the, because you know we used to stream video games. We talked about this before, right? And, shit. and um, one of the if you start if you start researching this shit, one thing they tell you is to everything you think, fucking say, because when you first start on Twitch or streaming or whatever, it's just you. There's nobody in your chat room. Every now and then somebody will pop in. If they fucking pop in, you need to greet those motherfuckers. If they say something to you, you need to you know. Respond to them, so you got to keep your eyes on the chat, keep your eyes on the game, and keep it moving. But since nobody's in there, you literally got to talk to yourself. Because if they walk in and they just see a screen with some loser fucking playing, not saying anything, they're gonna get right the fuck back out. You got to say what you're doing, like, oh, well, I think I'm gonna go left. Oh, I gotta jump over yeah. this guy and you know, slap Mario or whatever. Talk whatever. about that when people are negative. Or? No, 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 no. Like I'm saying, like when you're when you're streaming on a channel, yeah. you have to keep talking. Like you have to keep the content going because if people come into your channel to watch you stream. And you're just sitting there quiet playing a video game. They're gonna be all like, "Well, fuck this loser, I'm gone." You know what I mean? They want you to be responsive. They want to hear you yeah, talking. Yeah. You, have to, you literally gotta say everything that you're thinking. So have you have you seen like when when I did the whole YouTube thing, how it actually started is with Twitch. Do you know that? Mm -mm. Okay, so <laughs> so like my first first videos on that channel were like um, mosquitoes getting like, my ass playing video games. And uh, there was this. I mean, at first I thought it was cool because like the video got like maybe like I don't know like forty or fifty something views. It was badass because like on that like I'm playing and I'm talking like what I'm doing like like whatever my mission says like I would say it like oh okay I gotta go find John for example and like <laughs> this just it's just funny you gotta check it out bro. I'll show it to you later it's like <laughs> <laughs> don't be embarrassed it's not embarrassed it's just like I sing on there like this like you sing melody to yeah it's like this melody thing like, you have to see that I don't have to bring it up right <laughs> <laughs> it's badass dude so what's up Brian what's up with this real estate. It's uh, just put everybody on blast today. Music, fucking Pokemon, motorcycles, motorcycles bus. fucking real estate. What's yeah. up with the real estate? Not much, man. I'm trying to get it going. Um, <clears throat> I'm still behind the money. 
Basically, like you kind of like your dues and fees and Not shit. Not the dues. Right? This is really the classes. I let it expire, so I gotta pay my. I gotta pay the classes. Do the classes. Um, get a hold of Trey. Pay them. Then I'll be back on the track. So it should be should be pretty soon. It won't, it won't take too won't take me too long. And I just got another opportunity with my brother-in-law, and um, he's gonna be helping me out. That's what's up. So he he's, he buys these flips houses and shit. So he's like, once you get your license, give you all the homes, and all you gotta do is. So, um, I know I told you, but, um, I just got, uh, I just signed up for community college. Yeah. And it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, I mean, it's, it's two months away and it's already kind of like daunting for me. Cause what I are you going to do your basics or what? I'm just going to start off with two classes. I'm going to take English and speech. Um, I'm really not on like any, I mean, I'm on like a generic degree plan right now because I don't really know what I want to do. But I mean, I, I went to English and speech. Mm-hmm. Well, one because you know I talk a lot and I'm learning to talk better, and you know doing this podcast and I'm doing the YouTube videos, so I want to sound better and you know just make myself better at my craft. And as far as the English goes, you know what I mean. As far as the, I want to do, I mean I used to always write you know my little right. poetry, all my little short stories and stuff like that. So I wanted to go two things to kind of you know better the things I want to do. I wanted to start off with them. In that case, you know if, if everything goes to shit. At least I got some English and some speech <laughs> credit, you know what I mean? But, like, I don't know, it's going to be, like, pretty much, like, Tuesdays and Thursdays and, like, a Saturday morning. And, uh, I mean, I haven't been in school in fucking 10 years, 11 years. You ever heard of a, I think it's called Toastmasters? Toastmasters? I think, is that what it's called? You know this? Never heard, heard of it. No, thanks. Um, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a program where you can go, they, you, you basically are learning how to speak in public. Right. Um, <laughs> carry yourself, um, stuff like that. It's basically about speech, you know. Um, I've been looking into it. They have classes everywhere that are free. You know, most of the classes are free. You do, you do pay, I think, like a national dude. It's only like $40 a year. Mm-hmm. Don't quote me on that. I really don't remember exactly, but I remember it was, it was like <clears throat> almost nothing. And uh, you only pay like one time, I think it's for like a yearly charge. And you can join. There's like thousands of clubs. They're, they're considered clubs. Um, everywhere. There's one there's one down the street from me at this church and there's another one in the other direction. You show up, they're like on Saturday mornings. You show up and you just tell them, hey, you know, I want to be part of the club, whatever, blah, blah. They start, they, they, um, they teach each other how to give speeches and stuff. Um, trying to carry yourself in and, and, and all that. I mean, I thought it was pretty cool. There's videos and stuff you want to check it out. Another reason YouTube. I wanted to do it so, was uh, in case I, I do really want to get into stand-up. That'll help. That, I mean, yeah. I've been looking at like places that do open mics and you know what nights that they do because I want to go to like a, a, a pure comedy club like you know I, I guess, think like, you to the roots good at that, you know what I mean? but I, like I'm 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 funny in situations like where I know you know we're here talking shit to each other and you know going over our old stories or whatever it may be but like as far as like to sit down and get on my computer and to like write bits I have no idea how to do that you know what I mean yeah. and. I gotta stop saying, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, you know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, I gotta, I have to, I guess I'll watch some YouTube videos on it, but I definitely wanna go and see like how other people are coming up. You know, watching Joe Rogan, he's always just saying, just go, just fucking go. You're gonna suck, everybody else is gonna fucking suck. You just suck together. Hopefully you suck less than they do, you know what I mean? And, but I just don't wanna get up there and fucking eight mile and choke. But it's, but it's good to choke. Like, so, he was the hero of that movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was the hero of that movie. Yeah. <laughs> We're all the hero in our own movies. Okay. I mean, it's like not really. I mean, do something. I mean, even if it makes you feel uncomfortable, even if you have fuck ups, I just fucking do it because you're not never gonna know what you need to work on. You know what I mean? Right. So who, sure. who, who gives a fucking choke? Oh, like, see, that's the problem with the world. You know, everybody's always like fucking. Oh, well, you know, I don't want to. Perfect fucking example, Pokemon. Right. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people will say, oh, well, it's fucking gay or it's for kids. I don't give a fuck if it's for kids. You're going to come to my fucking face and tell me I'm a faggot for watching Pokemon? No, you're fucking not. Because <laughs> I'm going to beat the fucking shit out of you. I mean, and another thing, you got, people got to remember this. They're like, oh, you like Harry Potter? Well, so well motherfucking Harry Potter came out when I was like 10. And Harry Potter's ass was fucking 10. And as I got older, that son of a bitch got older. So now we're the same fucking age. I mean, what's wrong with fucking liking Harry Potter? I mean, Pokemon is a cartoon. Yeah, but that shit came out. 
in our adolescence. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's like, what's wrong with watching Dragon Ball? I mean, I think it's more it's more accepted now that grown men, you know, like anime and <clears> shit <throat> like that. You still got people that are gonna talk shit. I mean, yeah. you got your guys like like I think you and Elo are always talking shit about Dragon Ball Z. Let me put but it to you Elo like is like the biggest Ninja Turtle fan fucking ever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same fucking thing, bro. The, the way the way I see it is okay. So if you take okay, we'll, we'll take us right here. We are all like like either anime cartoons, you know, Game of Thrones, whatever the fuck, Harry Potter. Everything that we've ever grown up to like makes us who we are now. We're here and we're alive. Right. You know, we could be healthier. You know what I mean? We, we you know, make decisions. <laughs> I'm not pinpointing nobody to. But I'm just saying. What I'm trying to say. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, we're off. Fast, but what so. I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is okay. So let's think about somebody that never watched cartoons. Right. And always thought they were fucking badass. They were fucking bullies. Where are they at now? Jail. Fucking jail. Or dead. Dead. Yeah. Overdosing. You know or, why? Or, because or fucking. He, or finally liking Pokemon out in public. Think about it, bro, because when you're a kid, you know, you're five, six, seven, you're waking up, you're watching fucking Sonic and Power Rangers and Dragon Ball Z and Pokemon, right? Right. And then you get to, like, 13, and you still like that <laughs> shit. And then one of your best friends tell you, Pokemon's pussies. And you're like... Yeah, let's go smoke this joint. Yeah. I mean, all right, cool, but I'm still gonna watch Pokemon, though. And, like, and most kids, I mean, you know, yeah, that'd be great if you did that, but I say that most kids backed off a lot of things they liked because it didn't fit the cool kid criteria yeah, at a time I, and then I boom you turn 18 19 because here it is now there's fucking superhero movies everywhere and now it's yeah. cool to fucking like captain america yeah. but 10 years ago it wasn't because you were 15 you're like oh you're yeah. watching cartoons fucking loser let's go watch yeah. blood in blood out you know slap our girlfriends that when pokemon go came out yeah a lot of people started fucking playing it oh and hell yeah like, it was adults. huge it was fucking huge so like that's that's one of the things that kind of helped me like okay well yeah i like pokemon because you know, you would go to the park and you got all these like people like you yeah, know. You would literally see these people everywhere, dude, mm-hmm. up and down the streets, looking for those running in the walls. So now it's like crashing, it crashing too. It's, yeah, it's crazy what it, you feel like the trends we go through of what's acceptable and what's not acceptable, and it's almost with fucking everything. Like, bro, I mean, everybody's quitting smoking. Like the smoking numbers are way the fuck down. It like globally, we're not talking about you know just in fucking Oak Cliff because you know you guys hang out with bikers and bikers fucking smoke. You know, <laughs> or fucking stereotypes here, but like I mean, you know, twenty years ago, it was fucking super uncool to be fucking gay, or you know, it was, you go, oh, I hate gays. Now no, it's cool to be gay. So you're now saying. definitely, <laughs> no. What I'm saying is like now, you're a fucking loser if you don't like gays. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah like if like, you have something against it, right? Right, right. Yeah. If, you're, if you're against it, it's like, hey, fuck you. Like, I, I mean, let people do what the fuck they yeah, want. Like, I have nothing against it. Like, I mean. It, it doesn't bug me, you know, and it, it might go against a lot of things, whether it be religion or, oh, you know, well, that's kind of, you know, the fact that it doesn't bother you. Like, why should it bother me? Look, bro, I'm worried about my fucking self. Honestly, I don't give a fuck who the president is. I don't right. give a fuck what they fucking do. I don't care who's running the house. Why? Because at the end of the day, I'm worrying for my fucking self. That's true. Sure. And that's all it is, bro. Definitely. I gotta pay my I, fucking... want, I don't want people fucking with my rights the way they fuck with others. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna fuck with other people's rights because I don't want to fuck with my... Right. You know what I mean? Gay or, or or chick or a fucking animal? I don't give a fuck. It doesn't it has nothing to do with me. An animal? But animal? You can be an animal. Yeah, you know, people, people are. I mean, you like, don't. You know. can identify. Please, as I don't want to be human. Please I want to be a fucking wrench or something stupid. A man. wrench? Just, I'm just. <laughs> dude, dude, yeah, 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 there's, hold on. There's people online marrying their cars, yeah, bro. Yeah, dude. Like this shit's I just so read weird. an article about a dude who was in love with a fucking roller coaster, bro. <laughs> he's in love with a roller coaster. <laughs> Like, he legit, like, he's yeah, like, like, that's like weird, feels, okay, that's weird, but whatever, that's his thing, that's his thing. Things. That's, yeah. that's his fucking deal, like, I don't give a fuck, it doesn't bother me. You know? I mean, what does that have to do with me? Nothing. And it, it's just crazy what, how the trends come and go, and like, how, you know, it, it feels like one day you just wake up, and this thing that you used to hate so bad, or you disliked, or didn't know much about, is now overly accepted in the world. You know what I mean? It's crazy how the, the humans, we follow all these fucking trends. When I was a teen, I don't remember it being, like, a big deal. I don't think it was out in the open as much. So right, I mean, was, they felt like they needed to hide. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a big deal because, you know, again, I don't know, I guess they just weren't out in the open. At the time, it was very taboo to be gay or whatever, so I guess a lot of people were hiding it. But now that it's acceptable, you know, it's, I guess it's easier for people to, you know, to, to accept themselves. Or but what, so. a, like, what a sad existence. Yeah, maybe. I mean, like, no, for, for, for people, like, there's a guy, I don't know if they caught him or what the deal is, but Michael was telling me about it, there's a guy out here killing transgender people, 
There was one just found a dead body found about that. in in White Rock Lake. So is this, so is this is this like for real? Like, they're saying he's potentially a serial killer. Like, the, and it's there's been like four or something so so far. But you know, just to be this person in their mind, like, so mad. You sit at home all day. You're fucking, you know, punching the air. God damn it! I hate j- gays and transgenders. Transgender Let me just today. go kill them. Why does everybody like them? I hate them. Like, such a fucking sad existence to, yeah. for you to want to like buck the I, system I so bad. I, you know, and you just dislike something so much. You let somebody else's, what somebody else is doing, that you probably never even see. You don't, you know. He probably doesn't even know these people. You, he probably doesn't know any transgender people. Life. But I bet <laughs> you that if you, if, you, if, if you set him down and talk to him, he's probably been abused. Who knows? He's probably even been fucking raped. Only because it. So what do you think he's looking for? Like a, It's like, like a, he's like, hurting inside. So the way he kind of, he think he's trying to get back at somebody. I don't know. It could be maybe because it all. That's how it always happens, bro. If you grew up a normal fucking. If life, you're still watching the YouTube video, just hashtag love wins. <laughs> Not like it's because that's how it starts, bro. Like so. Yeah, I think a lot of those people are fucked up because yeah, they were abused because they've kids. been through something. You know what I mean? But, but still, they're losers. Why are you killing people because of how they are? I'm not saying. Why are you killing people? Period. I mean, I mean, it's just, people like like people who. Yeah, I'm kind of. Basically, I'm against people who, you know kind of like band together and they're against other people's freedoms i mean you should be able to do what the fuck you want with your body yeah i mean maybe should... he was when he was a kid maybe he was bullied a lot you want to stop all what this hatred that, though, because it, 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 because he, 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 maybe, maybe what he's it, saying is like he got back, bullied dude. So he's trying to find like those yeah another like, a, somebody else to bully oh, okay you know, and he feels like maybe they're on a week you want to stop weaker because they're transgender which is you want to stop all these murders and you know People, you know, can, uh, running over people or they see you and automatic, automatic have some type of hatred. Stop bullying each other. Stop talking shit to each other. It's like show more love and respect for each other so maybe we can have a better outcome of, of like, kids growing up. You know what I mean? Look at all these fucking, like, people, like, when the whole, like, school thing and kids killing other kids and shit like that. They were fucking bullied, bro. If they would have never been bullied, those other kids would have never been fucking dead. Stop hating each other. Like, fucking hype each other up versus... Yeah. Versus bringing them down. I mean, me, I can give a fuck. Somebody came up to me and tell me, I'm, you know, what you're doing is stupid. I don't give a fuck. You, you know, you have people that. I think these kids today you know I mean? are a lot more sensitive than, you, than back then, than when we were. Did you see the thing I sent you about? Um, was it was Jay Z? Was interview? It was like 40 seconds long. I sent it to one of our chats where he was like, you know, my uncle used to tell me, oh, you can't do this, we can't do that. And he was <clears> like, no, you can't do that. You know, you can't do this. You can't do because people see you. And like I've told you before, you start getting out of their reach. So they feel the need to like pull you back down yeah. and hate on you and tell you this ain't going to work and that's not going to work to kind of bring you back to where you're available to them. Yeah. I mean, I can and it, it's, sad, it's sad. It's sad. And he was, like, he was like, I know my uncle supports me. I'm his nephew. You know, I, I know he supports me, but it was just something that he feared because he had never seen it before. He had never done it before. He was like, oh, you're not going to sell a million records. And he was like, and I sold a million records a million times already. It's just people are used to like my mom always tells me life is hard life is she like you know you want honestly you want things to be sugar-coated you want to say oh it gets greater later oh you know you're gonna be great and you're gonna be rich one day baby and all these things but now my mom is kind of like just telling me you know what life is hard and a lot of times it doesn't get easier and for me I don't want to fucking accept that no I mean does my mom want the best for me hell yeah does my mom think I'm ever gonna obtain a million dollars probably not so people need to be like more true to each other I mean, I don't know. Or like, just open like your mind and get out of your like shell. Just stop. Don't. Just because, just because you know your daddy was a carpenter, don't mean you gotta be a carpenter. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you can do something else. Just because you know he worked in the damn mines, don't mean you gotta work in the mines. Break out of your shell. Because your dad always walked in the room at 3 a.m. and beat the shit out of you. Doesn't mean you have to do it to your kids, right? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's something you want to tell us, man. <laughs> oh man, I Joe see. loves his dad. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, so back to this inside XP. <laughs> what about it? I thought it was pretty good, man. I thought it was I, yeah, I, was no, I get a lot of feedback from it. On how fucking good it was when I first saw it. Some badass niggas. What was that right? That's what it is. It comes down to it. What do you do now? Like, I want to see you at work, but I want to see what the fuck you do. I'm a lancer there. So you put them little tripods up and yeah, shit? Yeah, and I... Oh, yeah, she found this book. <laughs> you make good money? Yeah, it's decent, but it's like a lot of bullshit. I mean, if they paid you a hundred dollars an hour, you probably still say it's decent. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just. 
No, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a good job, but I guess it's just like any other job that... It has its days. It has its days, yeah, but the thing is that this job goes above and beyond trying to make you feel small, I guess. Like, if I go to a job site and and it wasn't my fault, it was like another land surveyor, like, because it's a group, so I'll say we, it's two of us, we have to figure out why it's wrong, and we get bitched up. I don't right. see why you have to come at me and bitch at me for something somebody else did. You can come up to me and ask me, hey, can you fix this? And what do you think is wrong so that I can let the other guy know, you know, next time you got to be careful. They don't do that. They'll be like, no, it's true. You need to fix this. And if you don't fix it, blah, blah, whatever the fuck, you know, you're getting in trouble. Stupid. Shit rolls downhill. Yeah. That's a very stressful job. I'm not going to fucking like, He knows. I always, every time, <laughs> every time I like something goes wrong, I always call him. I'm like, bro. Every time blah, I blah, see blah, him, blah, he's blah. talking to you. And that's my nigga. That's true, dude. That's true. Every t- it's because he usually calls me. There's like certain times he calls me. I'm either in the shitter. Yeah. Always. Or I'm walking into the building at Louisville. That's like every time I'm about to walk in, he calls me. He's like, he knows what I'm doing. We're like, driving hey, in the car one time. He was like, Joe's about to call me. And then sure sure we're going sure to lunch. Shit he calls. And we're going to lunch. And I was like, I felt it. I was like, this dude's about to call me. This dude's about to call me. But look, bro. I mean, so we should talk about that further. You call him every time something goes wrong. Yeah. In a sense, Every yeah. fucking day, bro. Well, see, this because it's, 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 <laughs> no, it's not just that. No, it's not just that. The thing is that, okay, so. It's other things, too. Mine, mine and Brian's relationship has grown, like, immaculate. We've actually been through personal stuff that, you know, either could have cost me being mad at him or maybe him being mad at me. But instead of us arguing about it, we choose to throw it to the side and maybe, like, talk about it. Like, oh, you know, you're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You know, but I don't know. I mean. Can you give me another water, bro? I mean, yeah, me too. That's thirsty. Just, I get it. Or you can just jump on top of the camera. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't want to walk in front of the camera. <laughs> nah, but I guess it just, I don't know. I've, I've, I've asked myself that too. Like, like why, you know, no water? Yeah, that's the answer. Like, you know, yeah, I do call him a lot, but I don't know. I mean, he's, Brian's a badass nigga. Like, could have gave you this one. But it's, it's not just about work. We talk about other shit. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we just... Every time I get in trouble at work, I call him too. Right. Or he does something dumb on purpose. Yeah, yeah. I always get in trouble. One day you sent me pictures of poop. Was it poop? The, the animal shit that you found? It was a chile. Oh, shit. Oh, a chile. a fucking bug in here, dog. It was a... Uh, uh, Jalapeno. Yeah, you shit. know what a chile toreado is? Yeah, when you, when you grill them? Yeah, so it was that and like... Jumbo. It was, don't kill it. Get out of my face. You're on my show. He's you gotta a, pay to be on this fucking show. He <laughs> just wants to be on the show, bro. Chill out. Fuck chill. that shit. So, if you're still watching, put in the comments hashtag Junebug murder. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's a good way to find out who's listening, bro. Seven, There's a dude Bird. I follow named um, Tim O'Laughlin or something like that. He, he does those vending machines like uh, like the other guy, Ray is the entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. And he like literally just blew up. He, I mean, he got you know a little over a thousand now. He because Rush is on his show or what? Nah, man. Yeah. He just be all like, something to pop up oh, and say yeah. if you're still watching it, hashtag you know yeah. T Rex crew or something like that. Yeah. And I mean that's a good way to find out who's fucking watching. And if you're fucking boring and you need you to know, step we'll it up. see what you do. And this is where you get people. It's like you do stuff like okay hashtag Pokemon. I don't know. Hashtag Pokemon. <laughs> right. So hashtag Pokemon. This is just. I'm, I'm not saying I'm gonna do this, but for example, hashtag Pokemon. And everybody that hashtag Pokemon obviously is because they like Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So maybe I have like a vintage pack that I can do a giveaway. But the people that were qualified to get that pack were only the people that hashtagged. You know what I mean? Right. So you can do like giveaways. So you, how you said hashtag Joomba or whatever. Joomba murder. So, so you look at everybody that did it and you're going to give out a free shirt. Right. And, and we and Brian well, started we, talking we're about we're talking doing about these giveaways. We actually got some That's, that's what I mean by selling giveaways. yourself. And that's, yeah. that's a good way to grow your channel is to actually setting yourself and not being scared to do different things. You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. And I mean, like I said, I used to be, I mean, I still am, in, in a sense, so worried about what everybody else thought, which is kind of crazy considering, I mean, I was pretty fucking popular in high school, in middle school, in elementary school. I always played sports, fucking knew everybody. Me and this dude were the only two white dudes around, you know what I mean? So we, we were pretty fucking popular, but I was so worried about fitting in. I mean, I got a lot, I felt like I get a lot of, I had a lot of respect from people solely because of Oscar. Because Oscar used to get in a lot of fucking trouble, bro. You know, fuckers fighting left and right, and everybody, everybody just had this love for him. And, you know, me and him had been tight since we were younger. Mm-hmm. And that just kind of went to me. And then people found out, oh, this dude's fucking funny and he can play ball, you know what I mean? Let's hang out with him too. I mean, I'm fucking five foot eight and I used to be able to jump out of the damn gym. 
And now I can't fucking jump out of bed. <laughs> but I mean, I used to be so worried about what people thought. And now it's just like, I thought everybody's going to laugh at me, make fun of me and be negative. And now I've got nothing but fucking support. And it's fucking crazy. Besides, like I told you, you get these little snide comments every now and then from people. Like, damn, bro. Like, it's just crazy when you haven't seen somebody for so long. The first thing you want to say to them is like, hey, man, you fat. You got fat. You know, the action I've had that happen to me. Bro, bro I mean, my friend Gina, shout out to Gina, butt face. I hadn't seen Gina in like five or six years, right? And I was a Tom Thumb. And I remember her pulling up in her van. And I was walking out the store. And, she, and I was like, I started waving. And I seen her. She was turning. She goes, she mouthed. So fat, and I was like, "This bitch!" <laughs> like, are you serious? That's the first thing you say to people. Like, I mean, won't you say, "Hey, man, good job." You know, see what your podcast or you're like, "Hey, how you doing? You look healthy." First, like, motherfuckers, like, hey, bro, you got big. You eating good? Uh, I did that. I did that photo shoot for those pictures that I took, right? And you know, I was wearing black, and I mean, I looked good on. I just got a haircut, looked good on the picture. And you know, like, mind you, this was just less than a month ago. Yeah. Somebody sent me a message saying, "Polo helped you lose all that weight." Like, nah, motherfucker, I'm just wearing black. I'm hiding it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but Polo did. I gained the weight back when I stopped. Yeah. But, like, you know, say some fucking positive shit <laughs> to somebody. You know what I mean? You don't know what the fuck I'm going through. But those are the people you want in life. You want the haters. I personally think. I mean, no, I mean, yeah, you want the haters, but, I mean, if you're going to call yourself my friend, then be my fucking friend. If not, move around. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, I think it's good to have that friend around, even if they're being negative, because it just shows how much you're advancing in life. That's true. You know what like I mean? Like, milestones so, are like... Yeah, you know, just, some people just don't talk shit. And the majority of use people use that love. use that as a uh, not saying that maybe you are hurt. Even if you are hurt about it, who gives a fuck what they think? You are who you are, and because you're, you know, that's just the way you are. That's what makes Pat. That's what makes right. Brian. That's what makes John. That's what makes me. You know what I mean? But I guess the thing is, use that as like a push. Like if someone's talking shit or whatever the fuck, okay, you know, use it as a well. I must be doing something right. Right. For that person to give you that time of day to talk fucking shit. It's because you're doing something right that they don't fucking like. Right. I mean, I, mean, that's, I mean, that's true. And, you know, like, I'm doing so many different things. Like, I mean, I got two kids. My girl got five kids. I just got a new car. I just got a new place. I just signed up for school. I started a podcast and a YouTube channel simultaneously. You know, I'm fucking handsome as fuck. Yeah, you know, I have colored eyes. I got fucking mean ass black kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many things that <laughs> you can mention. But, like, you know, the first thing people say to me is, damn, boy, you got big. Everybody gains weight out of high school, motherfucker. I'm happy. Yeah. Let me be happy. Yeah. I can't run very fast or breathe much, but I'm happy. It ain't my fault my wife feeds me good. You know what I mean? Eating fucking real good, dog. <laughs> Shit. Hey, so... <laughs> and it's like, you know, my situation with my girl and my baby mama, they're cool. And, like, people are always like, oh, they get along. Like, my baby mama would never... My girl would never do that. Like, well, because you suck, bro. That's why. <laughs> you know what I mean? You pissed one of them off. I mean, I... I I just am nice to people. Sorry. Okay, sorry for what? I thought I'd cut, cut you off. off. Oh, no, well, you kind of did, but give a fuck. Um, <laughs> I'm King Cut. No, I was going to say, like, when I seen this thing on Facebook that you said something about people that you loved or something like that, and I think he went in there and Johnny was like, oh, he's drunk. What was all that No, he, he, like, he said that because I drank the last beer, and Johnny was really upset when I drank the last beer. But wow. were you drunk when you saw that? So, wait, you drank beer yesterday? Man, we got fucked up yesterday. I did. What? Bro, I got fucked up yesterday. Was Everybody yesterday? on my Snap story this morning was hungover. Uh, Where, where'd you get fucked up at? At the house. Christina came over. Johnny came Bro, over. I went, I went to the fridge. I looked inside. The, the boxes of beer were not there anymore. So I turned around. It's on the table. I pick it up. They ain't got nothing in it. He's over there on the couch. <laughs> it's the last one. Motherfucker, you could have told me that before that I was walked crazy. all the way over here. Where's the last time of beer? Man. Oh, wait. Long time. That's why I was surprised because he hasn't drank in a long time. That was your first beer in a long time? So what? But so what yeah, I mean, I had, like, no, we had, remember, we just had that cookout. A couple weekends ago, like two weekends ago, and I drank beer then, but I like to get fucked. I haven't gotten fucked up in a while. Yeah. Like, I woke up real slow this morning. But I'm saying, what what made you do put that post on Facebook? When did you put it? Yesterday? I mean, I feel, like, I feel like people forget, Nothing and then people get it, like... I, I, I like, 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 all right, so, so me and Michael talk about shit like this all the time, about, like, needing validation. Like, do I need validation? And, you know, usually people will say no. You know what I mean? I don't need you to tell me anything. And I'm just going to be honest. Yeah. You need validation? I, I mean, I think it's a great thing. I mean, they say, you know, oh, struggle makes things great. Struggle makes things better. Pressure <laughs> makes diamonds. Yeah, uh, great. I, I, I came from a struggling childhood. You know, I've been under a lot of pressure my whole life. I mean, I made it. I'm here. I'm happy. But for people who I consider my brothers and my sisters and my family, 
I feel like it's fucking great for somebody to acknowledge me and say, hey, man, you're doing amazing. Well, I will, just, I, will, will, I, will I continue my life if nobody ever pats me on the ass? Yes. But if so, if I if somebody comes, because Brian does it all the time. Brian always says, hey, man, I want to let you know you're doing great. Oh, Brian I'm, I'm, doing I'm, great. You know, I'm really proud of you. And like, and Oscar would tell me shit like that too, real more subtly, because Oscar, you know, don't do most of it because he's always like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, for for somebody to tell you that they're proud of you, that shit goes so very fucking far because you don't know what other people are going through, no matter how close you are. Yeah. yeah you know, you don't know what people are going through. So when you close. just, so somebody just saying, hey man, you know what? I'm fucking proud of you. you know, I love the way you are with your kids or whatever. Like. You could have fucking kept that motherfucker from killing himself that day. You don't know. Oh, that's true. I agree on that. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing wrong with telling your buddy good job. Yeah, you can tell me, hey, fuck face, kiss my ass and suck my dick, whatever. But, I mean, when it, when it's all said and done and it's serious, you know, hey, bro, I love you and I'm happy that you're fucking well, I just, I You just... can call it sappy if you want, but there's, but, you know, when one of us are gone and you yeah. can't say it no more, you're going to wish that you could. I... And there's, there's not a lot enough of that going around, I don't feel. Yeah. Well, I, I brought it up because I... I mean, there's, the reason for that is because, how long have I known you? Not long. Not super long. Not super long. And for me to be tagged, because I was tagged. Mm-hmm. And I was like, when I read it, I was like, what the fuck? And I was just th- thinking to myself, like, damn, like, I, I haven't really gotten to know you for, like, a very, very long time. But it's just crazy how, like, certain people come in your, in your life that you could only meet them for, like, maybe five fucking days. And you're like, damn, I really like this nigga. The connection, the connection has, the, I mean, it has nothing to do with length of time. Because there's plenty of people in my life that I've known for 20 years that fucking suck. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't want them around me, my kids, or my, my my extended family. You know what I'm saying? But there's people who you met in just a year that you bond with better. You know, be it you go through something <clears throat> crazy with them, you help them out with something crazy. You know, it's all about the bond and the connection. And there's no time limit on that. Yeah. It don't matter. You've been doing this the whole fucking time. Look, I just have to fucking <laughs> do something with my hands. Yeah, Back dude. to the hands. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, just, I, just, I feel like the yeah, Mike was like, oh, I don't need it. You know, somebody tells me, good job. Fuck it. I don't care. I'm still going to do what I'm going to do. True. I'm still going to get up and go to work. I'm still going to get up and be a father to my kids. I'm still going to try to do this fucking podcast thing. But what if I'm fucking two seconds from quitting and somebody says, hey, man, you're badass. I'm, I might ride it out for another couple of days. It yep. might, might give me that push to fucking do better, yep. and then boom, you know, I mean... But, yeah, I get you. Positive right. breeds, po- positivity breeds positivity, bro. Don't, I mean, it's don't necessarily wait on the positivity to have, to, like, push yourself forward. I have, like, yeah, like, I, I've always had, like, like, when I was doing the whole uh, YouTube channel thing, like, yeah, Brian was one of them, you were one of them, and, uh... Think about that. When did you start, when did you start that? I don't know. Two years ago, I think. Probably. We knew each other. Okay. And I, we barely were even talking, but I texted you about it. Remember yeah, that? yeah, yeah. But the, t- and the thing was that I I never expected people to come up to me and tell me, hey, you're doing a good job. I appreciate the people that did do that, you know, but I never expected it. And I never, like, even, like, when it crossed my mind to when, at first, yeah, it sucks because you only have, like, 10 subscribers or whatever. You know, it did cross my mind, like, oh, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. It's hard. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I never expected, like, for somebody to come up to me and say, that I was doing a good job so that I could feel it. You know no, I mean, I mean you, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying, hey, Brian, tell me something good so I can feel better about myself. That's not what I'm saying. I don't expect anybody to tell me anything. But does it not feel good when somebody tells you a great job? Yeah, but it doesn't affect the fact that, like, I don't explain it. I'm not going to explain shit. But it just doesn't affect the fact that, <laughs> like, whether you come up to me, oh, okay, cool, yeah, I appreciate it. Does it make me feel good? Yeah, but it's not like. Then that's all that matters. For one split second, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, if that one split second, is, is, that one split second can mean more to you than you really know. You know what I mean? You can think back on it because hindsight is always twenty twenty. You can look back for fucking ten years and be like, you know what? That first ugly, redheaded, you know, freckle faced dork at that fucking comic show told me that he recognized me. You know, and I'll never forget that fucking. You know dude. what? You know I what take it back. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there's, a, there's been times where I've wanted to quit doing the something and I right. didn't do it. Fucking white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like yeah. There's been times like I'm, recently I wanted to quit doing something and I didn't because him and I had you know other people and, and you know brothers to you know tell me not to fucking quit. You know yeah you're right you're right I guess you're right yeah. And like, do I, I guess, do do you? Because it does make you feel good right. having somebody and recognizing you know what you've done. Right right. Yeah. And I feel like you know and, and Michael says he doesn't even care you know my mom tells me good job mm-hmm. fuck it and like, I'm just you know that's 
But you know, he believes about, you know, you should feel this way, you should be this way, you should already be whatever, you should be perfect fucking machine. And like, that's cool, and, and, that, and that really works for him, and that's dope, but like for me, you know, you call yourself my brother, you call yourself my sister, and we're family, and you know, you love me like you say you do, it means a lot to me when you say good job, you know what I mean? Like Eloy, whenever Eloy, you know, sees that I'm trying or sees that I want to do something, he tells me, man, I can't wait for you about the podcast, I can't wait for you to do the podcast. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That means a lot to me. That means, was real good at that. And that means a lot to me now because, you know, 12 years ago, Elo was a fucking dick face. You know, he just tell you to go fuck you yourself. Know, you know, he's you know still what I mean? Dick face. And, like, he's, and he's still a fuck face, yeah, but definitely. But, like, he's grown a lot as a person. Oh, and definitely. he really, like, he was the first person to comment on that fucking post that you're talking about. The feeling is mutual. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you're my brother, and, yeah. and everybody throws that word around too much. And the people, I, other people I tagged on there, like Laramie, Courtney, Steve, and George. I don't see them regularly. My kids play basketball for them because those are my, you know, I consider those dudes my brothers and I know that they are going to do what's right for my kids. And they're going to put them in a position to win. Yeah. And when I mean win, I don't mean win games, but like just, you know, be successful in their endeavors. Yeah. And, uh, jewels everywhere. They, they're so fucking stupid, bro. They just run into walls and they're boom, they fucking crash. And they're called June books because they only come out in June. But you know they came out like two months ago and they disappeared. Yeah. I, I, was, I saw this on fucking the news. I was like, where the June bugs coming from? You're not supposed to say that, dude. It's a secret. Like, what they're on to and shit? June bug murder. Johnny, you asleep over there? No. Yeah. There he is. Wake up, son. I just ain't got no microphone. Yeah, so, I'm pretty sure they can still hear you be talking. They'll put me over here to not have to listen to me talk. Man, I'm really hoping that this fucking, the, the audio is pretty good on the video because there's no microphone up there. Is this what, what, what happened to it? Wait, so know. what's this for? Huh? Lost it? The, all right, so these are plugged into the Mac. The commercial fryer, right? The, 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 <laughs> the flux capacitor over there. Yeah. That's what these are plugged into, and that's plugged into the Mac, and it's recording us. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to upload this to the podcast host, which is Messy FM. Messy FM has, gives you an RSS feed. That you can upload into Google, Apple Podcasts, <laughs> and everything else. Okay. Are you going to put it on Google Play? I need to. I looked for it today and I couldn't find it. I, 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 I can put it on there. I just haven't done it so yet. So your phone is doing its own so video So my phone right is, on, is doing video and audio for YouTube. Oh. Uh, so you know that's what I'm saying? So hopefully it's picking up good. You know because, you should. Okay, so then you use that like how I did, right? You, you upload that onto YouTube. Right. Dude, you, should, you know what we should do, bro? Like, I say we like I'm part of this shit. <laughs> I mean, like, feedback is fucking much yeah. appreciated. I mean, dude, like, 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 like even, even, even your fucking like, thumbnails were dope, you know what I mean? A life thing. A live, a live, like, like a live like, YouTuber? Like a live, like there'll be certain times where you can do like an actual, once you get like X amount of subscribers, right, right. Like, then do like the live thing where like we can kind of do the setup different and kind of have like, I mean, obviously it's kind of hard to post certain things because, you know, you're okay. the video get knocked down, but I think it'd be pretty fucking cool like to have a video and everybody smoking weed. And everybody. I mean, Joe Rogan smokes weed on his channel all the time. Yeah, yeah, but YouTube won't allow that. I don't think YouTube will. He's on YouTube. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. do, but he doesn't do live YouTube anymore. But he recently just stopped it, and I really don't know why. Some people say it has to do with Alex Jones. Some people have said it has to do with Joe Rogan about to start his own app. And it's going to be like a pay app or something like that. But a lot of people, they're so mad. Because I've, I've been literally, well, I have, I have, but maybe once <laughs> or twice. Because, I mean, I've been watching Joe Rogan a lot, you know, now. And um, I've only watched maybe one or two of his live episodes, like, actually, while it was going on. But, I mean, I can't sit there for three hours and watch him. So what do I do? It says, oh, he uploaded the video. I fucking wake up in the morning, I put that shit on, I'm going to work, I get 40 minutes of it. Oh, okay. Driving home, I get another 30 to 40 minutes of it. Yeah. You know, if I'm sitting at the house with nothing to do, maybe I'll throw it on. But it literally takes me two or three days to finish one Joe Rogan episode. So these people are so mad. Like, if you literally are sitting there during, you know, because he does them at noon and fucking one o'clock. If you're watching Joe Rogan for four hours in the middle of the fucking day, what the fuck kind of job do you got? Really? Because I can do it. Honestly. Fuck you. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of jobs out there where you can just listen to, to the radio all day. Like, drivers. But I mean, on, like, on YouTube with your phone? I mean, I guess they can do it on their phone. On their, 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 well, I mean, I don't, feel, I don't understand why they're so mad that they're not live anymore. Mm. I mean, maybe it's, it's because of Alex Jones. He was talking about all kinds of crazy shit. I mean, he's supposed to be banned from YouTube, like, completely. Really? And that's why it was so controversial for, to get well, him why? on there. Why? What is it? Because they say he has all this hate speech and all this other shit. Cause, and they're, they're, they're trying to still get rid of conspiracies off of fucking YouTube. All that 9-11 stuff. Like, YouTube is... Really? Yeah. 
I probably shouldn't even be talking about it. I'm yeah, sorry, I love YouTube. I, I, Let's go. I, I was about to say something, but I love YouTube. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, YouTube is a fucking great platform. You know what I mean? But I just don't know what the situa- situation is with that. It doesn't seem like Joe Rogan's really mentioned it for me of the episodes that I've seen. So I, I really don't know. I'm kind of in the dark. And he, he hasn't returned any of my call. YouTube was one of the... <laughs> <laughs> YouTube was one of the, the first platforms, right, to play videos like that on, on the internet? Right, or, was, right. or was it the first or... Uh, I'm really not sure. I don't know, fucking Soulja Boy blew it up. Or was it MySpace? Soulja Boy. Soulja Boy, tell him. Motherfucker, really? You don't know who Soulja Boy is? You! Yeah, I don't like that guy. <laughs> How you not like him? We're going to have him on the show next week, bro. Just didn't know who he was. Yeah, yeah then we're going to argue with him. <laughs> I just don't like some of the things he said. I don't remember exactly what I, mean, one, I remember thought. I remember thinking. If one person, really if one person says... Something that Brian doesn't like, that's it, dude. I don't, I don't like that nigga, bro, because that nigga says some kids taste nasty, and I love some kids. <laughs> like, it, doesn't fuck, it doesn't fucking work that way, dude. What the fuck? That's me. See, like, like one serious. thing, though? He said, I don't know exactly what it was. I'm not going to even try to remember it, but right. I remember thinking, you're a fucking idiot. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to ever attempt to even listen to your music. I don't know if I ever did listen to his music. I, I mean, mean, I remember, I remember, I remember when, when, I when the Soldier Boy, the Superman song came that out. That song was dumb anyway. I, I mean, like everybody it. liked it. It was catchy or whatever. But I've never really, like, listened to... Because I don't... I, I, you don't listen... I don't feel like you listen to Soldier Boy for that kind of content, like, to make you think. Mm-hmm. He's sitting there jamming, making making trap music and dance songs and stuff like that. I like trap music. I just didn't like him because of that comment he made. I didn't like that song to begin with, but I didn't have, like, a distaste for him or whatever you want to call but, it. But I heard that, that one comment he made and it pissed me off and I was like, fuck that dude, I don't, I don't like him. Fuck it. Because that one comment he made. It's kind of like, what's that one comedian that you don't like? Is it Jim Carrey? Yeah, fuck that guy too. Why? Because he's against guns. Because he's against guns. But he's a baddest fucking comedian, dude. So what? He's not even American. He's like, Canadian, bro. So what look at that. Okay, well, leave his ass. <laughs> it fires him up, dude. It fires him up. This is stupid. Guns is totally different. Guns is going to fire me up every but time. But who gives a fuck what he thinks, I give dude. a fuck. Why is he talking shit? But does, does he make you laugh, though? Is but this, uh, hold is, on. Is, does he make you laugh? No. Listen. <laughs> he made me laugh when I was a dumb kid. When I was a little kid and I saw stupid movies like Ace and then, Four, and then you saw that you didn't like guns. Oh, I just don't like this guy no more. Yeah, exactly. Now that I'm an adult and I understand shit, I'm like, what are you even talking about? Our fucking laws. Stay your ass in fucking Canada. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's in America. No, America. Nobody but he's in America. Man. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, you're not even from here, so shut the fuck up. If you're scared of guns, stay your ass. Away. Well, like, like Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp used to say, I'm gonna raise my kids in Europe because America sucks or something like that. And I was like, damn, bro, really? Who like, said that, Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp. This is a while back. Me lost too. See, <laughs> now, now he's not gonna watch Pirates of the Caribbean. I've never seen those stupid movies, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just very patriotic. Yeah. If you're gonna just, talk shit about guns, fuck off. If you're gonna comment you're gonna something on this, about, on this fucking. If, if you're, you're gonna st- comment if you're something on this, hashtag video, we love guns. <laughs> yeah. Has, well, hashtag not, hashtag well, guns are bad. <laughs> That's just for Brian. Just, I'm just saying, bro. I don't, I don't like this shit. Like, just like the whole the whole we were talking about earlier. You don't like you know you don't like guns. Don't fucking buy them, bro. But don't tell me that I can't buy them. Don't try to change the law so that I can't buy them just because you don't fucking like them. Fuck off. Go live somewhere where they don't have guns. Go to UK. They're not going to shoot you in UK. You know what they're going to do? They're going to stab you, bitch ass. Because now they took all the guns away. Now people are just getting stabbed all over the fucking place. Yes, yeah, yeah. Because they got fucking knives. You just elbow me to post And guess that. what? Now, now, they're trying to out, now they're trying to ban fucking knives. Why? Because it's not the fucking guns that was killing people. It's the people that are killing they're people. Trying to, they're trying to ban knives. Now they're trying to ban knives because but people are using knives. starting September 1st, people. it's legal to carry brass knuckles now. Oh, no, they're trying to ban knives in Europe. Oh, we're talking about, about UK. UK. I was like, hold on. No, no, in the UK. Yeah, because there's a bunch of knife fighters. Oh, my, my apologies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, in fucking Texas, you can walk around with a damn sword. You Fuck it, right. this is Texas, baby. I think I'm gonna do that. There still might be some, you know, Wild Wild West shit going on. You don't know what's going on over here. Oh, you see yeah, a lot so, of murders in Dallas. So shit. don't don't call oh, it shit. nothing that Brian doesn't like, because then. He won't but like you know, but seriously, like, I would hate you to a hundred percent right off the bat. So he's just playing I'm just kidding. Doesn't, I'm just kidding. doesn't so, isn't Sylvester Stallone like against guns? Doesn't he like? Yeah, he's that's like, another dumb thing. How are you gonna be against guns? But Ev, you've made your fucking fortune on movies surrounding guns. That's dumb, bro. Like oh, you're a hypocrite. Well, well like uh, so, so I like so with AOC. You know what I'm saying? Like I personally, I'm, I'm not a liberal, but I personally like AOC. I don't agree with all her liberal. policies, but I feel like she's spunky. I feel like she's fresh. She's new. You know what I'm saying? She's a hard worker, and she wants what she wants, and she believes in what she believes. I think she's cool. 
Um, but somebody was trying to say, oh, you know, how how can you be against, you know, um, what the fuck is that shit? That new green deal about emissions and all this stuff, but you're riding around in cars and on, on jets. And she was like, she, she responded perfectly. She was like, living in the world the way it is now, you know, doesn't mean that we can't try to change it. Because, I mean, dude, if she didn't drive, if she didn't ride in a car or a jet, then how would she fucking get around? I mean, I mean, they don't they fucking emit emissions as well? Like, every, yeah. she's trying to make it better, but, I mean, to yeah. make it better, she has to get to, to and from these places. Mm-hmm. I mean, she needs to buy a fucking Tesla, for one. I mean, Wait, who? Uh, she Alexandria no Casio cortez she, she couldn't even afford her fucking apartment when she started. Yeah, because she didn't make she had any money. We're just going to have to start moving into teleportation, though. Hell yeah. That should be dope. I'll be here. But Brian won't be able to use it. Brian, Brian, hates, Brian hates everything. I don't hate everything. What if I just hate what if what if teleportation? I want to make that a segment on the YouTube. It's gonna be his own thing. Brian hates everything. I'm gonna he give does. Him, I'm gonna give him three minute videos that's to good. fucking rant, but it's all gonna be mine. That's, that's a good point though. Brian. Ah! June bugs. June bugs murder. Hashtag. Dude, no, but legit, I think I, I bro, that's not, not true, bro. No, I'm not allowed to the, 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 like, the, I don't want them messing with my molecules. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> messing with my what? Messing with my molecules. My molecules. Are you ready, my molecules? That's Brian, Brian. Bro. Hey, fuck the drone molecules. These are mine. Yeah, like. Bro, look. First of all, if you want to talk about about that kind of shit, was it's not even really you that they're gonna be putting back together, right? Because they have to break you apart, right? And they have to replicate you on the other side or whatever. They're not even using, unless they can somehow transfer your atoms over there or whatever, and they put you together, but I don't think it works that way. It doesn't work, it doesn't at, work all. at all, bro. <laughs> 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 Ryan, Ryan always <laughs> finds <laughs> something to... Uh, no, I mean, it, there's that theory about that you're not the same person when they put you back yeah, together. Yeah, because, because that's, it, a, that's it, a, not a real thing. So you're like, the theory is, yeah, yeah the shit got fucking small. Bro, that's what happened to me. They, they, I, 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 I teleported. Bro, like, and you, now you're missing half your day. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, that's what bro, happened. Bro, like. So you're over here trying to sue the government. <laughs> Put my dick back together, bitch. Maybe if I do it again, it'll come back and be like, oh. Nah, it's going to be even shorter. It's going to be on your nose. Damn. It's going to be on your face. It's going to be it's a like squid word. Hashtag dick nose if you're still listening. <laughs> There's just certain things that set me off, bro. Everything guns? sets you off. No, none. All things that none. Say guns. Oh, okay. Um, what else? I don't know. Liberals. I just. Aren't you a liberal? No. No, I don't like. I don't like people trying to tell me what to do. It doesn't matter what it is. Anybody. 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 Shadow doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, and I, I don't. I, I don't consider boss. myself a conservative or a liberal. But one thing that I've learned from him, I mean, just remember, I've been with Brian since I was like 12 years old, bro. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So like you and Christian and all that stuff don't bother me none. And that's the same thing Eloy tells me. He was like, I'm not worried about you. You know, because we've been around, da da da. Anyway, I, it just still doesn't make any sense to me. Like if I go out of my way, and we're talking to Ryan about this, um, if I go out of my way and I bust my ass and I come up with these ideas and I put in the footwork and I put in the hours and I grind and I grind, and I build a company that's worth $20 million or whatever, or I make myself $20 million personally, I mean, who who are you to tell me who I can spend it on? Not a damn person. And then Ryan, what did Ryan say? It's because you use people to get there. Okay, I mean, well, if, they got paid. Well, look, like, look, I, I had somebody make this logo, and I paid him 50 fucking bucks. I had somebody, you know, make that shirt, and I paid her. I had, I, I mean, I needed this fucking, this laptop. I paid somebody yeah. for the I didn't use anyone. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? I, I think there's... That's a dumb way to look at things, cause. But he's not the only person that said that to me. It's I mean, a generation, bro. Yeah. They, they want everything fucking given to them. I don't understand it. Like, why can't you work your ass off and give it yourself? It's, it's that simple. You know, why do you have to expect people to give you handouts? Why do you want to live your life on handouts? You should be one. You know, be mad enough to be like, you know what? I'm. I got enough drive to go out and try to get it myself. Even if I never fucking get it, keep trying to get it, dude. Like right. that. That says a lot about your character. Those motherfuckers are going to be the first ones to die. When shit hits the fan, they ain't no more. They're the first ones that are going to fucking die. Because they expect people, they're the ones that are like, oh, the government will come save us. No, they're not, motherfucker. They're in a fucking bunker already so for two weeks. They knew that fucking hey, asteroid was coming no, for two weeks. we got a raging liberal over there behind our computer. Well, He's going to erase liberal. the whole podcast. Johnny, <laughs> you're liberal. John, Johnny's going to be the only one who survives because we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna help him. Get in here. He's part, he's he's part of the team. squad. Uh, we got to pull him up by his fucking neck and be like, it's your fault we're in this Brian's situation. Brian's going to try to fight you, dude. 
No, he doesn't. I'm not gonna let that happen. Brian, 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 Brian has said in the last five or ten minutes applies to me. <laughs> See, Brian, you're right. Me. It doesn't. It doesn't. Brian can take does. Johnny at like two o'clock in the morning and be like, hey, "Bro, when you gonna come bite these?" <laughs> I don't know where that started. I don't know. Where I, don't know I don't know. I don't know how it started. It just looks like you look like you're a good toenail biter. One day, I don't know what it was. Ow! Wait, hold on. Ow! That's what he means. Yo, yes, you you said that. I'm the one that's like, I won't text him for a fucking year, and I know I'll be like. Hey, bro, what's up? You gonna come over and chip these tunnels or what? <laughs> Just out of nowhere, dude, because I don't know how it started. I think it started at Gators one day. And he, he, he said something, and I was like, so what, you gonna come? You gonna buy my toenails or what? And he just started, and it just, it created a thing where, like, that's now cool. randomly, I'll, like, randomly text him. What are we talking about not college. bullying people? Right. Yeah. Well. I ain't sensitive. I don't care. But he's not, not a liberal, then. Not he's the, not a real liberal. But that's not the Johnny's acting like a liberal to fit in and try to get the ladies. That's what oh, it yeah. is. All those college ladies. That's is that what it is? Yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's what it is that I'm not doing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong. That's what it is. That's why we got to get another microphone so Johnny can talk with yeah. you. Dude, fuck Johnny. yeah. Like, the person that's controlling, like, the stuff would be, like, the background. Like, you know how, like, when they're recording a camera and you just hear something in the background? Oh, yeah. Well, you know. Hey, you know, we need to get, like, a sound bar and shit. So every time we say a joke and it's lame, he, like, just the fucking button or whatever. They make a clapper boot. Yeah, it was like, wah, 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 or some shit like that. Hey, we'll leave that up to you. Yeah. Get the fucking soundboard or the M. What do they call them? We can there? do it. Button, you man. Can, yeah, I'm sure you can do it on that fancy. You can do it on your phone. That fucking fancy ass contraption right there. That Mac. They don't do everything. Damn. Yeah. Fancy Y'all hype it all don't up. Don't forget, shit. he's against Mac. Yeah, I, don't like, I don't like Mac. <laughs> you don't even like Oregon Trail, bitch. Uh, yeah, I do like Oregon Trail. Yeah, that shit was the shit. It was. What is it? That's not. There's. What is that? There's a meme out right now talking about. Uh, you guys are playing Fortnite and Call of Duty, which I wouldn't make it la- uh, a fucking oh, one yeah. day on the Mississippi River. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. I remember. I saw that. That was a good game, I remember. Yeah. Uh, I that was the only game there was. I remember, no, I remember that one, and there was one where you, um, there was the, the you built a rock, you built rockets, and they gave you, like, different, different boosters and different fans, oh, different I remember bodies, that. different cones, and you had to figure out which one, you put them together to make the, the highest or some shit. How about, like, Minecraft? Minecraft? What about Minesweeper? No, was was it Minesweeper? Uh, that was on PC. Oh. Yeah, that's almost fun. The game was stupid. There's no strategy to that game. Can you beat that game? I don't know. You I don't click. play it, bro. It's I mean, just guessing just, where you, you click. Just click on shit. No, I, don't, see, yo, I don't think there's any strategy to I it. I didn't know. I didn't learn how to play it until I was an adult. When we were when we were kids, there was no strategy to it at all. We were just guessing. But the the little numbers that pop up are supposed to tell you, hey, if it's a three, then there's like, hey, the, the, around this button that you just clicked, there's fucking three bombs. You have to find where they are. Oh, right? I, I don't now know. I don't know what game you guys are talking about, and fuck that game. Right. Yeah, it was on PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the PCs were coming out. You remember um, the Incredible Machine? That was a bad Man. Game. Yeah, that was a good game. They need, to, they need to remake game, it and right? do it again. They have, there's an app that's like, it's not called Incredible Machine, but it's the exact same thing. You have to like, you know, put the, drop the basketball, hit the trampoline at a certain angle, and it mm-hmm. hits the bar, knocks down the bowling ball, and all that bullshit. So that's a pretty badass game. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for coming, but he came over here. <laughs> Thanks for letting me yeah, use your couch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fucking casting couch right casting here, me and Joe. Oh, oh, shit. Fuck yeah. Oh, we're going to start a whole different type of video now. Ooh. Ooh. Something liberal would say. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. If you haven't already, hit like, subscribe, share. Um, go to the YouTube. Go to the Instagram page. One Dumb Dude PC. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. You guys want to say something? No. I'm good. Bye. Thank you for I'm, yeah, I'm good. Man. Oh, we need to shout out your, your, shout your page. page. What page? There is no page. Oh, yeah. Inside there is no page. Inside XG Jeez, on YouTube. Man. Check him out. Check All right, guys. We'll good. see you. Bye. <laughs>